And it says above us only skies. That's beautiful, that isn't it? And all the baggage handlers were kicking off saying, We want a slogan, we want a slogan. So they got one as well from the same song. Imagine no possessions. <laughs> I like it when you go in, no, when you go in and you do I'll, I'll do this when you go, you always know when you go in and they do the security questions. And they're like, that no, I tie a bit of banter with the staff, nobody gonna go, pack your bag yourself, say. Say that no. <laughs> so what I did is I got my, uh, like the butler first of all, the butler had a night off, and I got my name with the Palestinian one. <laughs> James, I've actually got a Palestinian name, I went round his house a couple of months ago for a birthday party, it was the quickest game of past the pass. <laughs> and you go like that. Has this bag been out of your sight at any time? I said, it's been in the loft for 11 months, give us a break. <laughs> and my favourite one, she said, could somebody put something in your bag without you knowing? I said, how would I know? Now, look, because we go with easy EasyJet, EasyJet's great. Now, you know you're on a bad airline, don't you, when the in magazine's the big issue. Now, <laughs> And all the staff wear the same perfume, they all wear that silly bang, all the staff wear the same <laughs> There's a true fact into about EasyJet. EasyJet's the only airline in the world that never has and never will be hijacked. Do you know why? Because you tried selling 150 Scouse girls, they're not going to Malaga. <laughs> <laughs> It's great, it's the only job in the world, except for this week, you can tell your customers to F off, right? It's one of those. But this girl, she gave me a little boring pass, and she went like, if you see any suspicious, let us know. <laughs> so we're walking off, honest to God, I come running back ten minutes later, and went, oh! Dickhead! Four pound a pint! <laughs> so someone's on the robin there. The flight was only a pound. <laughs> When we were going to Kenny, laugh with them, not because they're not sick. We had to fill a customs form in when we were going to America just before we landed. And this customs form, honest to God, said, Are you attempting to bring any form of livestock into the United States? <laughs> but eight hours ago, you confiscated my best thing to Africa and my water, but somehow you think I've smuggled a cow and a chicken. <laughs> 